Lisa's love for Columbia is extraordinary. From the moment she walked on campus, she felt like Columbia was a magical place that was gonna have an impact on her for the rest of her life. She just really became Columbia when she was here, to just a perfect match of a person and an experience. When I was admitted to Columbia, it was almost instantaneous that I knew this was the place for me, and it really was a magical time. I would have loved to have seen her as an athlete on campus and what she was like as a college student because I think that enthusiasm remains. I was on the track team and those were in the early days of co-education, so the early days of varsity athletics. It just felt like the perfect place for me. Just to be in the city that I loved on this magnificent campus with smart, opinionated, motivated, contrarian and interesting classmates. There's no one I know who is more involved in realizing the claim I make that uh, we are the greatest college and the greatest university and the greatest city in the world because she just embraces every initiative we have. She is the co-chair of the board. You don't become the co-chair of the board of trustees of Columbia University unless you have real leadership skills. Becoming a trustee of this university is really one of the great honors and great joys of my life. And I think all of my family and friends and associates know how much it means to me. And part of why it's so meaningful is that we're working on incredibly important things, whether tackling neuroscience, whether our work in Columbia World Projects, whether educating the next generation of students across so many different fields and interests. It's very, very important and very, very satisfying. When I think about a role of a trustee, it's really to make sure the institution is stronger than before we got involved, so you feel the weight of that responsibility. Who is this woman who has such belief it's really fun to watch her in action. With the passage of time, your debt to Columbia only grows. It's just this magnificent, energizing, brilliant academic institution and oasis in the most fantastic city in the world. Herman Woke called it doubled magic. And I think that's perfect. And when I walk on our campus, that's how I feel. Just this electric energy, and it's spectacular. She's the kind of woman who's just an incredibly good mentor and role model, inspiring the young alums, getting people involved, and helping to keep young women motivated and active in this community. Lisa's commitment to Columbia College is amazing. I think that from where she started off as a freshman into where she is now speaks to how much she loves this place. She has this great infectious enthusiasm for the university that she pulls together constituencies from all over campus and never settles for second best. She makes everyone better. Lisa really does wear her heart on her sleeve, but it's, it's her Columbia heart. I wish we could bottle Lisa's confidence in everything she does. Lisa is this asset that we need to kind of hoard at Columbia and make sure she's happy and well-fed and taken care of because she's that valuable. Lisa is about bringing positive change to this university. She's really determined to give back and I think that's why she's such an effective leader for us. And a wonderful human being, by the way. I mean, she's just really, we love you, Lisa. <laughs> There's no separation between Lisa Carnoy and Columbia University. You sense it in every interaction she has as a trustee, as now a co-chair, as an alum. The fact that Lisa is the first woman to receive this prize is just really important, and it is fantastically deserved. It is great for all of us, great for the university, and great for her.